Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Hello everybody, welcome to Big Mike's Movie Reviews. This is me, Big Mike, and it's great to see you lot today. It is Friday, November 10th, 2023. We have a whole new week of new movies. Today is the release of The Marvels. I won't be seeing it just yet. I'll be catching it later on this week to let the crowds die down a little bit. But I know that while many of you are out seeing that right now, I think you should also, kind of like how Barbenheimer had that feature with Barbie and Oppenheimer, you should see a really good drama, and one of the best of the year, and one of the best films as well, is this film I'm about to talk about called Radical. This was a film that was written and directed by Christopher Zala, and it stars the incomparable Eugenio Derbez. And I gotta say, here and now, I knew the moment I saw the trailer to this movie, I knew, I knew it was gonna be good. So, what is this film about? It is a true story. It takes place in 2011 in this village in Mexico called Matamoros, which is across from Brownsville, Texas, where at the time they were building SpaceX. And this teacher named Sergio, played by Eugenio Derbez, is teaching, he's a new teacher rather, at this school that has very, very limited resources, a very terrible library, and doesn't even have a computer lab at all. And he's encouraging the kids to learn through his own special methods. He doesn't use traditional teaching methods. He's kind of abstracted out there, kind of like how Robin Williams was in Dead Poets Society, if you will. And through the course of teaching these kids, he learns that a lot of them have really, really tough home lives. For example, one of the children, her name was Paloma, she has a father who makes a living turning in scrap metal to make ends meet. They live in a dilapidated house, but she's very, very intelligent and terrific with math. Another kid, his name is Nico. He's this young boy who quite literally lives in a busted up shack. He has to quite literally fish for his food. And he's trying to repair a broken boat to get better at his fishing, while also, unfortunately, trying to sorry to say, fall into a life of crime, possibly, if he uh, doesn't watch his step because he's encouraged to by another person. And then finally, we have this other young girl who's got many, many brothers and sisters, and her mother is pregnant once again. And in order for her to take care of her brothers and sisters, she is having a tough time even going to school because she's got so much responsibility because there's no father in the house. So when you compound these three different things combined with poor schooling, these kids have to really do the best that they can to try to get somewhere in life. And all of that is anchored by a teacher who really cares. And that is, of course, Sergio, once again, played by Eugenio Derbez. And I got to say, unbelievable. This film was unbelievable. It runs 125 minutes. It doesn't have one boring moment in it at all. A lot of the situations feel all too real. Even if you weren't in a situation like this or in a poverty-stricken town or whatever, the amount of drama and heft that's brought along to this film it almost feels like a fly on the wall documentary, right down to the shaky camera handy, I mean, the shaky cam uh, handheld work, I meant to say, in this film. And the film is in Spanish. It takes place in Mexico. Thank God it's in Spanish. I didn't have to really glance at the subtitles all that often. And let it be clear, this film is rated PG 13 because there is some situations in language in this film. I'll be honest with you. From what Spanish I do know, if the subtitles were correct, because a lot of times they're not, and they were not correct a lot of the time, if they'd actually put down what they were really saying in the subtitles, 
the film would have definitely gotten an R rating for its language. But the best scenes in this film is all those scenes with Eugenio and those kids. Again, it doesn't even feel like he's acting. Neither does it with these kids. It feels so natural. And I know some people are going to say, well, we've had these sort of inspirational films where there's the really wise teacher who comes in and cleans up everything. Movies like, uh, not Save the Last Dance, what's it called? Uh, oh my God, it'll be on the, I'll come back to it, but it's the one that had uh, Antonio Banderas in it. It was the last movie I actually saw with my grandparents. Um, or other films, another one I saw with my grandparents, like Coach Carter or... Um, What's the other one where, like, the teacher's there with the kids and, and helps them out? I, I'm not sure. It'll, like I said, it'll, it'll, it'll come back to me. But uh, still, the difference between those sorts of films and this one is those films, while they are good, they have that feeling, that sense of melodrama. You know something's going to happen. You know that not everything's going to be okay. Some things are going to have a happier ending. Some things are not. But what makes this film in particular all too real is the fact that, especially in the society that we're in now, we are unfortunately regressing. People are becoming less wealthy. People are living less wealthy. There's less homeowners in this generation now than there's ever been. It's, it's tough. And like I said, when you have scenes where... Little kids coming home from elementary school have to literally get a fishing pole to go get their food. That's rough. And the thing is, it's happening even as you're watching this recording. Kids probably have to do worse things than that to get a meal. It's it's rough. And I know I'm going on a little bit of a, a, a rant here, but it's just seeing it on screen, especially when it is a true story, it really just gives you a reminder it gives you a reminder that especially governments, because that's one of the big enemies in the film, is the government in the film, need to do better, need to care about education. It all starts there. You know, that's the foundation. And when you have great teachers like Sergio Eugenio, it just, it just really, really gives you a sense of hope that somebody cares and gives a damn about kids. And he is based on a real person. This whole thing, it's all based on a true story. And the conclusion to this film is a very good one, I will admit. But I'm going to let you know something. I'm promising I'm not going to spoil. There's a moment, kind of late in the film, where it is going to knock you flat on your ass. It's, it's one of the best things, and it's also one of the most shocking things in the film. Because this film, unlike a lot of American films, it pulls no punches. It does not hold back at all. There's going to be a really hard-hitting moment that's going to happen in this film that's going to make you go, whoa. You know, to kind of kind of quote a really funny comedian, Clayton English, he was on Instagram Live about a week ago, and he said something to the effect of, when I go into a restaurant... I don't want to hear conversation. I want to hear plates and forks clinking on them and people just eating because he says good food will make you shut up. And the thing is, when I went to go see this movie, it was the prime set. It was a seven o'clock show. Pretty packed audience. People were talking all through the previews. I was so worried. But like how Clayton says good food will make you shut up, so will a good movie with good performances. When the performances started, the minute... Sergio got on screen, Eugenio, nobody talked. Everybody was pin drop silent. Why? Because they were interested. They were drawn in by the film's charms, by its magic. That's what a good film does. And that's what this film does. And if you don't believe me, go see it for yourself. Radical is undoubtedly one of the very best films I have seen this year. It is without question, Eugenio Derbez's finest performance. I know I've only been introduced to him a decade ago with his personal film that he did, Instructions Not Included, but still, from everything I've seen thus far, 
top flight work. This film more than deserves its 98% on Rotten Tomatoes and its 8.3 on IMDb. And it's 99% on Google ratings. And as far as I'm concerned, Radical very, very easily gets an A+. This is a must-see film. It is perfectly suitable for education and it should be watched in schools going forward. This film, I hope, will stand the test of time. Hopefully, it will open up the eyes to anyone out there who needs to understand that kids really do need a good education. No matter how rich or how poor we are, it all starts at the beginning. So, definitely go check out Radical. Fabulous film. And I I can't recommend this movie enough. It's... It's as good as good as ever going to get. I really like this a lot. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my review today of Radical. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, of course, to my YouTube channel. Be sure to go check out this movie and be sure to check out my very next review. And with that being said, I will see you at the movies. Bye, you guys.